At least the at least the writing staff slash translation team is having fun. Well, Marion, I hope you don't mind that we're gonna be running around in the rain today. What else you got for me, Liesel? Liesel, ah, she's mysterious and weird. Who knows what she's gonna talk about today? <laughs> I can't even, no, not even for regulars. I can't let you do that. I'm willing to negotiate. You were shopping. Is everything okay? Baked in parsley. Lindsay loves drill swordfish. She said one of her favorite memories is getting to try it on a trip. Oh. And she's gonna come back with one because she's fucking weird. I know, I just hope Lisa Love would work a miracle like always. No, she doesn't, Yuma! We know this by now. Get the fish. I thought... I don't, know. I don't understand. I have to admit, like... Every almost every conversation we have with Lisa a lot is almost exactly the same. Like, they're good. Don't get me wrong, but it's like Lisa a lot. I need thing that's kind of impossible. Okay, here is the thing that's kind of impossible. But how did she get the thing that's kind of impossible? Like, I get it. She's weird. Uh, it came out great, huh? Oh, she's stitching something. I live here? Aw, she's stitching something for Yuma. Aw, I'm fixing my pajamas! Aww. Camila's all like, don't worry, girl, I'll help you get that. Yeah, and yet we still can't get, like, pajama costume for Yuma. To dream of me. God damn it, Yuma. I'll see you. I'll see you in my dreams, Yuma. Kirk is like, I'll see you, and we'll do all the thi the things yeah. like holding hands. Ooh. Come on, Yuma, get up there. Get on, get on up there, Yuma. Uh, yoink. We got up in up in the castle front. It's Gorg. Hi, my name is Gorg. Uh, I think this is Marion we're walking up to. Yeah, she has more skits. Let's see how many errands she goes on. Dupa dupa du dupa 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 dupa. Yeah, I suppose I should have expected as much from life and go reds.
Hmm. Twins are magic. This is a fact that is true in all worlds. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're not twins. God damn it, Lustin. Because so we may deepen our understanding of each other. Listen, Mary and Annette are twins. I feel no pity. As a brother, I have a duty to perform. Excuse me! This is cool when it comes to a sister. Garrick is not gonna like this. Twin sensitivity. Hello. Yeah, I'll be I'll be back, hon. I gotta go talk to Leston real quick. Then we can have our date. Leston, my man, you creeping out your sister again? Like how it's every other conversation with him. It's every other conversation, right? How did you end up becoming your apprentice? How you ask? Let me think. I was still just a child when that happened. It's the very definition of immaturity. Excuse me, remember, I thought myself the best of my peers, conceited and foolish. I didn't know my own limits. I was arrogant so much that I had no friends. Then one day, Master Elise approached me. She quietly criticized me for my arrogance and told me that I meant to be truly strong. I still remember what she said to me. If you think you can prove me wrong, then come at me with everything you have. And what happened? What do you think? I charged her and she fucking kicked my ass, dude. A single finger strike. Stunned me. I lay defeated. I felt the weight of her words upon my mind. True strength. How that strength should be used. As I realized how I had been acting, I was paralyzed with shame. The Master Lee spoke once more. If you want to make up for what you've done, then devote yourself to helping others. Push on me. That's why I said to become an apprentice. Aw. And then my life was terrible afterwards. First rule of Elise's training. Do not talk about Elise's training. <laughs> no, no, I can't do it. It's possible I'm gonna die. I can't do this. Please stop. Help me. Help me. Someone help me. It got less than... <laughs> it really is Popo's training. Even harder with, with you, I never survive. My poor supple Bashonin body would never, never stand up to it. My legs would get so buff they wouldn't fit into my leather pants. All right, Mary, let's go. We're hanging out on a rainy day. Gonna go over there. Can't run because I keep forgetting the button doesn't work. Ex examine, 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 examine. There we go. Look, it's a statue lamp. Oh, we already did this one. I see. Then someday we're not a couple. Hey, genus. 
You're enjoying your yourself. Good. Good. I'm happy for you. All right. What we got? Uh. I guess we'll go. I guess we'll just let me check this out. Something smells good. I wonder what's for dinner tonight. I want to ask her. I think she's in the kitchen. Nah, I'll just enjoy the anticipation. Go grab a snack. Heck, we can go grab a. We'll go up this way and grab a snack. Oh, oh, Sonya's like, oh, you're, you're, you're running around with Marion, huh? Uh, I, I, I see. I see how it is. Yeah. Yep. All right. Okay. Girl, catch up. All right, here. We'll go to this cafe. We'll get a snack. Cream on your face. Oh, oops. Where? Don't move. I'll get it for you. Oh, wait. I can do it myself. Really, but I could just get it for you. I just want to get some cream off your face. Just let me get some cream off your face. There's always so many people here. I wonder what they're all doing. Probably the same things as us. Walking, talking, relaxing in the shade. Going on dates? I... 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 Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. It's so weird hearing Marion talk about dates so casually. I can't tell if she realizes all the implications of it. I'm pretty, I think she's perfectly understanding of it, yes. Run, 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 Hi, run. Mister. Hi, miss. Hello. Hi. Where are you two going in such a hurry? We heard a lot of tree nuts fell down around that tree. You want to come pick them up with us? Can I pick them up with us? Sorry. I'm taking Marion around town and... I don't mind. Let's go pick up tree nuts with the kids. Huh. You don't mind? No. I can pretend they're I our children. Wants to. I was kind of hoping for some time alone with her, but... Okay, Yuma! Fuck her! You can't be like, I wonder if she understands the implication of what a date is, and then be like, I was kind of hoping to get alone time with her. Like, dude! You can't be this dense! picked up too yay thank you thank you thank you i love you yeah. i love you guys too oh okay thank that's you. a little weird <laughs> you're welcome see you later bye run 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 i love you yuma what, I, you, <laughs> where did that come from huh it came from me when i heard the kids say they love you i felt like saying it too I, I see. I was just surprised. Damn, Mary, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I love you, Yuma. Oh, that's weird. My heart is pounding too. Yeah, I can still feel mine. <laughs> like, just gonna, just gonna go right out and just say it. Okay, all right. Are we not gonna address that. That was. That was pretty, pretty obvious there. Quiet jealousy. Like, I mean, seriously, dude. That was the most straightforward love confession we've had in this entire game. Alright, let's see. Let's look at another skit over there. Let's go do it. And then maybe after an hour of playing through uh, role playing, I can actually go do some combat of some kind. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Come on, Agnum. Do you want to tell me you love me? Because I'll say it back too. I <laughs> just like, okay, all right, I heard what you said to him. Back off. <laughs> munch, munch. Yes, it's good. It's good. Is it spicy or salty? Is there anything else? <laughs> I 
taste food. <laughs> So spicy. My tongue feels like it's on fire, but it tastes really good. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? That's the right sentiment to have. Got that? <sighs> but it really is good. I, don't <laughs> I like all of it. I know it's good. I'm a goddamn genius. I should have been voicing Agnum as Gordon Ramsay this entire time. Your mouth? Are your taste buds in heaven? There are so many expressions you can use. I've never heard either of those. I did feel spiciness. That stems from a combination of red and black pepper with just a hint of cumin. Oh? As is, that would be too hot, so you use the sweetness of fried mashed onions to reduce the spiciness to a tolerable level. Lastly, the addition of a kumquat peel brings all the flavors together, converting spice into something delectable. Was that the impression you were looking for? Hey, I know everything Marion just said. I'm in shock. She even identified the hidden ingredient, even though I only added a tiny sliver of it. <laughs> Did I say something strange? I'm like expecting Adam to want to hug her. Gourmet machine. <laughs> it's fucking raw. Ah, cute. All right, let's see if we got anything else down here. Once my camera controls decide they want to work. Joachim Rubens. Uh, gotta just get over here. Repairs on your bridge because you soon very drives whatever. It's so embarrassing that you heard me talking about official things. Sonia's being so dutiful. Sniff her out later. <laughs> really? Really? They took turns. I don't know if that's charming or creepy, so I'm gonna go with creepy. Usually if you have to ask, it's the it's the it's the creepy. Okay. Let's take a nap and hang out with Lester tonight, shall we? Welcome back. Get some rest. I will. Hanging out with Lustin, he's the older brother of another party member. Hmm. What is it? <laughs> it's you. Hmm. Nice night. Hmm. No. <laughs> okay. Are you doing something? Actually, I check in on them whenever the opportunity presents itself. Voice track. No. <laughs> In the training regiments or something? Oh, that job is easier than easing their mental and emotional burdens. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Yes. Oh, I 
wants to hang out. Fuck yeah. Yes. Let's hang out, Lustin. Until tomorrow, then. Lustin and me are gonna hang out in town. All right. Dun 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 dun. God damn it, Fromage! Get the hell off my screen. I don't like you, Fromage. <laughs> Hey, no skits. At least on this map. I think we might finally be caught up. All right. Kirigatawa Alma. Yep, oh, there's one skit down there. Well, just in case, I'll go ahead and go do it real quick. I think it's Agnum. Uh, because... It's possible that going on the on the uh, the date will reset them. Agnum, Broheim, how's it going? You're not jealous, are you? Listen, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. It's not like we were gonna go uh, on a date or anything. Yes, yes he is. Don't make me laugh. There's nothing good about having a sibling. You seem bitter. Wait, does Agnum have... He has an older sister? In fact, she's the only one who taught me how to cook. Yes? Why isn't she in my party? No offense, Agnum, but... What, she almost pulled a fucking Mishma on you? Yes, yes, yes. I want to meet her. I want, I want to, I want to meet her. <laughs> you know she's a good sister. She's so scary. God damn it, I wanna meet I wanna meet Agnum's older sister. She sounds so cool. I wanna meet her. Come on. Alright. Stupid game. I mean, this is only the penultimate chapter. We, we, can, we can still have time. Um, honestly, I don't know. Whatever lesson, let's hang out. Come on, Leston, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, there's one right up here. The view here is fantastic. <laughs> I say as I stare into your deep lime green eyes. No. No. <laughs> I love the way he just goes no. Even when even when he's making a statement that should be a yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> we can spar. We can we can fight it out, bro. I don't mind. 
Oh, Wahim Rubens doesn't mack on the girls cause he's wearing a mask. Dooby dee do 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 do. Yeah, Lesson's looking over us. He's like, I have to keep this. I've only had Yuma for this many days. And if anything happened to him, I would kill everyone and then myself. All right, let's talk to this bread lady. Lesson, why you gotta be such a stick in the mud? Show me, show me a good side of yourself here with this scene. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to notice the seasons changing from here in the city. Hardly. You need only pay attention, and you'll see telltale seasonal plant life growing by the roadside. Hmm? That grass. Grass? It looks like an ordinary weed. Is there something special about it? This grass can be used as a medicinal herb to treat certain illnesses. It's that helpful? I had no idea. You can find it growing almost anywhere. Yet most have no idea of its properties. Possibly because so few know how to prepare it. Does that include you, Leston? Oh, I know how to use it, of course. Elven culture dictates that we live in harmony with nature in all aspects of our lives. So okay. every elf would know, say, how to tell an edible mushroom from a poisonous one? Oh, I wouldn't say everyone knows, but it's certainly common knowledge among elves. Wow. I had no idea. I didn't discover all this myself, of course. I've simply inherited knowledge that has been passed down over many generations. This elven knowledge has been passed down to the Lustin family for generations. So you learned all that from your family? Not just my family. Well, to me, everyone in my homeland feels like family of a sort. Wow. So it's not just Kirika. You're that No, he's only close too. to Kirika. Look, Leston, they've got shaved ice at that stand. Want to get some? I'm afraid I don't see the point. Isn't it simply crushed ice and fruit juice? If you're thirsty, you need only drink water. Why go to such lengths to freeze it just so you can eat it like this? I guess I see your point, but why don't you just try it? It'll taste good, I promise. I suppose, if you insist. Excuse eat me. Fucking taste. shaved ice, Leston. Okay, eat up. Get a big heaping spoonful. Right. Yeah, get, make him have a fucking headache. <laughs> That's how you, this is how you eat shaved ice. Oh, no, no. I confess, I do like this crunchy texture. It's hardly the most nutritional thing, but the flavor itself is not bad. It's called a tr it's called a treat, See, you idiot. If you make judgments before you even try it, then you're gonna miss out. True. I suppose you never know until you try. Uh, shopkeep. One more, if you please. And give me the blue raspberry. Didn't you want one too, Yuma? Allow me to treat you. As thanks for introducing it to me. It wasn't Aww. That big a deal, really. You needn't be so modest. You gave me a new experience, and that surely deserves a reward. Okay, I guess I'll take it, if you don't mind. I'm glad you liked it. It feels like we're a little closer now. Elf Dad. I'm gonna call less than Elf Dad from now on. Good, good guy, Elf Dad. Lestin the Elf Dad. All right. Any, any more skits? Oh, Elven knowledge. Any more? Doesn't look like it. I think we can actually progress the story. Well, let's go. Let's go check the other map. Let's go check the other map real quick. Just, just do real quick. Just do a real quick check. Just come down over here. Let the screen load in. Uh, 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 yeah, baby. All right. 
Okay, so... Where are we going? They want us to go here, where that thing was. So we're heading, yeah, through the caverns. Okay. Hi. Hi. All right. Get to see how this new pro controller works with this. Wow. Okay, so we're starting out with masked goblins. Uh, let's go ahead and use some of this band meter while we've got it. I'm actually still very surprised that we have so few music songs. I would have figured after talking with Kirika, like... I don't know, maybe I should... Maybe I should Google up if there's other songs, because it, it feels like every character should have their own song. Or at least all the the, the, the female characters should. I guess I can understand if they didn't want to give the dudes like their own pop songs or rock songs or whatever, but like, you'd think by now Marion would have a song of her own. And Sonya would too. But like the three songs, we, out of the three songs we have, the only one that's like really strongly a character's is, uh, the one we've got equipped, actually. And it's Kirika's. 